my junior high gymnasium when I was in grade eight. A guy handed me a rugby ball and, and showed me how to do a drop kick. And I tried it and didn't go over so well. Uh, first rugby club was the Okotoks Lions. Uh, it would be Joe Buck, an English guy that came over and, and started up uh, the Lions in, in Okotoks. Uh, again, it would probably be uh, Joe Buck since he's the one that kind of introduced me to the game and, and taught me it and, and really kind of kick-started my career. My first start uh, for the Canadian team. Uh, probably George North, you know, best, one of the best swingers in the world. So uh, I'd say it'd be a close one and two with uh, the Liberty and BMO Field back home, our Canadian uh, national grounds. Worst ground, probably uh, a little farmer's field in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. <laughs> um, pass the ball. I grew up playing American football, so I'd say that's probably the next best. Maybe John Madden of the NFL. Says pointless stuff, and yeah, he's kind of funny. Uh, right now I'm right in the middle of uh, Game of Thrones, the, all of them, so I'd say all of them together are pretty good. I wouldn't say I have a, a favorite track, but anything country music would probably be right up there. Hank Moody in Californication. Braveheart. I would say um, the amount of bitterness I get from all the guys in the clubhouse about me being a young single Canadian living the overseas dream. Um, two things, probably TV tax and car tax, because those are two things we don't have in Canada and I think they make absolutely no sense. Uh, first Osprey's memory would be when I was with the uh, under-17 Canadian team, came over to um, Cardiff Bay and had a tour and played all the regions, so I actually played against, um, I think it was the Osprey's U16 team. My first Osprey's match was with Treviso this year, opening game. Uh, I didn't actually get on the field, but it was the first one I was part of, and then uh, the following week against Leinster, I played in the final minutes. Probably be when uh, my family flew over, my mom and dad, for my uh, and surprised me for my first start against Edinburgh, and uh, happened to be my first try in the first couple minutes of the game as well. So pretty special. Uh, I would say it was probably my first week here. Uh, I wasn't actually told the rules of the ping pong table in the clubhouse, and uh, I didn't really know anyone, and I had to do a lap around the ping pong table with my pants down. So that was pretty embarrassing. Favorite player would probably be between Mark Thomas and Hanno Dirksen because they're two of the craziest guys I've ever met. Matthew Dwyer. Um, I'd say probably Richard Fussell. He's out here uh, leading by example every day. Ashley Beck, one day on three days off. Probably the back-to-back -back games with the Scarlets just to get the whole atmosphere, everything over the Christmas holidays and I thought those were two uh, pretty big games. I would say probably just the way that everybody kind of you know brought me in part of the family when I first got here and, and really welcomed me. I thought it, you know um, really welcoming coaching staff and, and players. Uh, Wine Street Friday night. Uh, I think, what is it, 77 clubs, one region. I like that. Everyone comes together and supports the one region. I have a tattoo on my right butt cheek.